Okay, so we're going to go with this trim, and I had this on from my stash. So I'll go around here. And sort of kind of. I want to cover up the, um, the verse because it's very inspirational. I'll miter that corner. And I'm just kind of keep going around the edges. I love the trim that allows me to miter. I just think it gives it a cleaner cut when you're cutting it. Turn it this way so I can miter that better. get the areas that I missed. And I'm going to go in and probably cut out some of this applique and make it prettier. why my glue gun is suddenly getting super hot like before I could touch it not now it's like super hot what the heck happened okay. and like this one here I need to wash my hands you guys know me with my hands. I don't like my hands to be dirty. <clears throat> Put that one down. Make sure that it's down all the way. Okay. So we have that going on. And then I have um, this applique here. Um, after I put that down, I said, you know what? It needs a crown. My mom needs a little pretty crown. So I am going to go with that there. And my daughter, my mom was the um, the daughter of Otala. So that goes perfect with her. And I think it is perfect for this. I'm not sure if I want to extend it out that way. Probably not. Let's cut it. We can use this for something else. And that's the good thing about these appliques is we can cut them up wherever needed. So we're going to sort of kind of get that down. That nice and down. Oops. I'm dropping everything since I've moved this angle. It did the glue gun keeps getting stuck on my chair. All right. She's got her little three-way wings. And then we're going to 
through that there. And we are going to probably use some of this. We can use some of this for this frame. Absolutely. Get all of that. There's the other piece. Frame it out, ladies. Try to frame it out. Okay, so we're going to go with that. All those little pieces are used somehow or another. I gotta get some flowers in here because my mom loved flowers. So we have that going on. Let's trim some of this here. And let's see if we can use a small mom. Maybe angel. No, let's go with mom. So we're going to put mom there. Right there or over here. Because I want to add a bow there. Let's go here. So I used the chipboard um, word mom and I distressed it with some Tim Holtz vintage photos and of course ran my fingers through with some chalk paint just to give it a really nice vintage look there. And we go out that way on the wings and then over here we're going to add a pretty bow and for that we will probably let's see what do we want to do what do we want to do we have some of this here my mom knew I was crazy so we're going to go with some of this. That'll clear that up. And we're going to go with um, we'll some of this color seam binding. My mom loved the color gold, so we're going to go with that. She's a fan of that color. So let's just stress this. Let's make a bow. Okay, so I've made a crazy little bow using some sari ribbon or sari um, ribbon some seam binding, some lace, some yarn, and um, I made a pretty little bow. And I'm going to attach that to here, just below the wings.
We got some flowers from Creating with Details, so we will probably add some flowers in here and there. Let's see, maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> By my scissors. Maybe too much. Yeah, that's too much to me. That is too much. That is way too much for me. Okay, so I will take from the Wanna Scrap Pearls and I will apply it here and there. These are their bulk pearls, so I'm going to go in and put it here and there where it needs a pearl. All right, so we're going to grab the bead gripper. And just go in. I'm going to see if I want this color or the cream. Which one looks prettier? I think the creamy one looks prettier. Let's go with the creamy one. All right, we're going to go with that one. I'm going to put that one there, but we're going to change it. It's a good thing I didn't glue it down, right? Just gonna put these here and there wherever we need it. Whatever I see need that it needs, so let's see. Let's go here. That's what I love about these bulk pearls. You can put them wherever you want. Wherever you see fit. over here instead. There. There. Make sure those are even. Okay. And then we're going to take this one from Creating with Details and we're going to put it in the middle of our bow. we have so far. And it's all the glue webs because you know you get a lot of those. But that is what I have so far for my angel page. Um, like I said it's a picture of my mom. She was about 15. So Okay, so we're going to keep moving along and see what else we want to put on the back of this page. Um, maybe make a pocket or something and um, maybe put some little things in there that she would have liked. Let's see, she was such a big fan of flowers. I thought maybe I can put a little leaf here and there. Nah. Okay. We'll save that for something else. Okay. So we're done with this page. Now we're going to work on the other side. Okay. So that is that page. Now we're going to work on this one. So for this one, we will probably do the same thing. We will go around with um, this trim, which is the Chinese braid that you can purchase at Wanna Scrap. Oh, I need to stop getting my chair caught up with the um, glue gun. It keeps getting trapped. I'm just going to go all the way around and figure this baby out. 
and I'm sandwiching it and really good to go in outside a little bit outside the edge so that um, it covers up some of that edging. Um, but if you want, you can take some um, some paint and just kind of go over and paint out that so you're not putting so much lace there. So I'm trying to go really close to the edge as much as I can possibly go so that I can sandwich those in. If that makes any sense to you. Sometimes it makes sense to me. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes I feel like a nut, ladies. Okay. So there we go. Now we're going to try and cut this here. And I want to, let's see what we're going to use. pocket here but I also I think I want to keep it see no I don't want to say it's too simple because you know me I always say I want to make it simple but it never comes out to be so simple let's clean up some of this <clears throat> okay madre querida de mi corazón que te gustaría en tu próxima página okay so we're gonna go with This frame from Want to Scrap. We can go sideways on it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And we can go, I can go there, and then I can put a doily in the back, and you won't know the difference. And I like that. And then I can put you can never cross the ocean unless you have the courage to lose the sight of the shore. I don't know about that one. Let's see about this one. That was too big for that. Don't give up. Don't you quit. You keep walking. You keep trying. There's help and happiness ahead. Trust God and believe in good things to come. And she was a fighter. I want that one. So maybe I could put a picture of my mother in us. Not a picture of my mom in us. Oh yeah. And then I could put, I am a strong woman because a strong woman raised me. And isn't that the truth? She was such a strong woman. And that's a picture of us. I don't know how old I was. It's a chunky little monkey. Go there. And I'll probably have to trim this out a little so that it fit here. And that's okay. We can do that. That's what I'm thinking. I also have this one of me and mom. Let's do that one. Me and mom together. Yes. Look like a little tomboy. <laughs> I think that would be nice. Okay, so we'll go with that one. Okay, so for this part of um, the album, I've taken up several little elements, and 
as you can see, I've already put the um, mesh on this side and then I have this vintage trim that I'm going to apply here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down. And work my way around. Here I get my little... A little handy tool here to help me. So I'm just going to use this vintage trim and some other miscellaneous things just to give it a little bit of a, as I call it, a flare. Nothing major. Some personal preferences. And I do have my mom's watch, and I think I might apply it to one of these pages. Um, Just to... All right, so we're going to take this um, applique here. I think it was a piece of trim that I've had. Anyway, I'm going to trim this here because I kind of forgot I needed to trim that. Bring my trash here. So this is, um, actually it's a piece of fabric I had. Anyway, we are going to apply that, that. Try to save as much as I can of it because I don't have too much of it. So waste not, want not. And on these, you can put just about anything you want of your loved one. Um, you know, if you have any of their personal memorabilia or um, whatever. I didn't have a lot from my mom because I just didn't. And. But I do have, I really want to keep it and cherish it as much as I can. Um, stored. So. And although this album is a memorable album, they, because I don't have so much of her stuff, I want to make sure that I pre preserve some of her stuff. Um. We have a little trunk, we call it the mama trunk. And in that trunk, we have all her pictures, her high school um, yearbook, and um, a lot of little things that, you know, that she left behind. All right, so now we're gonna cut all the extras. I need the bigger scissors for this. So I don't like to cut thick beneath. Well, this is like a French, a French lace. So it's very thick. Very, very thick. say I'd save that but no too small you could use it for like flower making things like that but I 
trying to clean up. So we're going to toss it. All right. Oops, so I have one dangling. All right, so now I'm just going to go in and touch up where I need to touch up in the areas that I need to go back in and kind of get those areas glued down. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this trim that is from Creating with Details and we're going to put it in here. Trim it here. And it's a beautiful cotton trim that you can purchase at Creating with Details. So I'll make sure I put the link below so you guys can check out Creating with Details store. All right. So next we are going to put that there no i don't want that one sorry ladies i have to okay so in figuring things out kind of change things around so i'm going to put this um trim here that i picked up at um my Hobby Lobby store and I'm just putting in some of the beautiful elements that I think my mom would have loved. And I love a lot of these kind of colors, the golds, the ivories. She liked burgundy and maroon, but I'm not much a fan for that. So we're just going to stick with more neutral colors. And work with that. Oops. I'm also going to work with the pennants from uh, Wanna Scrap. And what I did is I grabbed two of the pennants from the package um, and I grabbed two of the smaller pennants from the package um, and I used my chalk paint and I'm going to just build on to, to that. Now I'm going to take this other trim here and we're just going to go again layer upon layers. I love the layers upon layers. It just gives it really nice touch to it. And this one kind of picks up some of the gold or the tannish gold from the, the French lace that I have in the bottom. Again, allowing the little flowers because I think that was an added touch because my mom loved flowers and that was a perfect little trim with the little flowers on it. Okay. Make sure that's glued down. And hands up a little. All right, 
now we're going to take this trim from Creating with Details and we're going to probably go almost like in a little angle. But I am going to cut that one there. That's about too much right there. And we'll trim this one off. So it doesn't look funny. Let it go that way. Just keep adding some layers onto this. Again, you know, you can also, if you have something personal, a shirt, something that um, your loved one liked, you can also put that on here. Um, that'd be a nice little touch to add on here as well. Okay. Now I'm going to go with this little doily because my mom loved doily, so why not put things that she liked? She also liked cooking, so she liked cooking, she liked gardening. Now, I have this little picture of her when she was in school, when she first came to the States. And I was thinking about putting that around there. And I cut this doily out to fit that. So that'll go like that. And I want to make sure it fits perfect. And then we're going to tuck, when I was thinking about these, these are the pendants from Wanda Scrap. We're going to put one or two coming out. So, and on one, all my little chipboards from Wanna Scrap, and so thought on one we put the word love, and on one I'm going to put a heart. Okay, so I have the Wanna Scrap funky buttons, and we're going to go ahead and distress that a bit. It needs to be distressed, so we're using our, again, our chalk paint. I'm going to do the front and the back just in case I want to use one of the other sides when you're moving around the heart. Sometimes, you know, when you're positioning it, you don't know, does it look better this, this way or does it look better the other way? So um, I'm just going to do both sides. And wipe some of that off. All right. And I want to do that. This is the Wanna Scrap um, Heart Charm. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to take some paint, and it's chalk paint. And I'm going to patina this just to give it some color. It's the only thing about this is that I use my fingers because I like to give it that textured look. All right. So we're going to let that sit for a little bit and we're going to keep moving around. Come back. And <clears throat> so while else doing that, I'll grab my patina over here and I have my gilders paste. So I have several colors. And we'll see which one will look good. This. I think my copper kind of dried up, but all right, so I'm okay with the way that is. I'm going to go ahead and peel this, and I'm sorry my hands are kind of grody right now. 
That's what happens when you're crafting, ladies. All right, and do I need to clean my hands now? That's kind of grody. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. And notice I just kind of went off on the side of the doily just because I'm going to be putting a sentiment on the side. And I took this doily, cut it out, and I'm going to size it to fit my mother. And she's making me strong to make this because uh, I first brought out the pictures yesterday. My daughter brought them up from the little treasure box that we have of all her little goodies. And it was like, oh, I have a meltdown, so and I just kind of grabbed the image from her yearbook and scanned it in. go ahead and take my distressing from vintage photos Same thing with that one. And on one, I'm going to put the word love. I love my mother. And on the side, I'm putting memories. And I'm going to take this piece of extra. Um, fabric that I had left over from the album when I was putting it in and I'm going to make like almost like a diploma scroll and I'm just going to roll it and show like her little diploma and I have some of these little vintage pieces of scrap doilies here and go ahead and glue that down okay. let's wrap this one around a couple times first Uh, 
Let's glue that down better, me. I want to make a good scroll. Um, let's try grab some of these. I'm trying to grab scraps and just kind of decorate the scroll like a flower. So we're going to do that. We're going to take this little piece of cotton thread that I had laying here. We're going to make a little bow. Or I'm not, I'm not going to do a bow actually. I'm just going to tie it and I'm going to let that dangle. And then make sure they're kind of even. Then I'm going to take these little scraps and just kind of add scraps. I'll just make a little tiny tassel. Let me move this down so we're not damaging it. These little pieces of, um, of doilies and things you have laying around you can kind of a little tassel per se here. So we're not wasting. And let's get these over here because I know these these give it color. And this is just me being funky. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that heart. To have this all nice and okay. Let's, so even if it's like little shredded pieces of, you know, doilies or whatever you have, you can just build on and make something with it. So now I'm going to take, let's see what we have here. I got more here. I like to give it color. So So even if it's like little chunks of something, it gives it character. And I'm probably saying you can't even see your diploma, man. Eh? She earned her diploma with a heart. She sure did. So it's just a little shabby diploma. I'm going to probably tatter this up more. Just kind of tatter it up more so it looks more uniformed. Looks like a little flower. Okay, so her little diploma. And then we're going to bring that back. I'm going to put a little trim around there. So we're going to select what trim do we want to go there? something that's a little wide. I don't have to 
bear with me while I look for something that's a little wide. Hmm. Too wide, but not too thin. And this one doesn't have a really curvy mechanism. So look, look for it. good curving abilities. Okay, so I do apologize. I thought I had been recording and apparently I was not. Um, my camera somewhere along the line. My cuckoo's for Cocoa Puffs. So I do apologize for that. Now, what I have done <clears throat> is I went ahead and I attached the word memories. It's the chipboard embellishment word from Want to Scrap. And I applied my little tassel that I made with the um, funky heart button from Wanda Scrap and I took the heart and char uh, key charm because my mom is the key to my heart and I attached them together with a little piece of thread and I put a little bit of patina I took some paint distressed it out a little just to give it um, a little bit more of a vintage look okay so I apologize I thought I was showing you guys how to do that when I looked up it was just telling me I wasn't recording Okay, so now I'm just going to make a little tag book almost. And I have this little quote Beneath every strong, independent woman lies a broken little girl who had to learn how to get up and never depend on anyone. And that is so true. My mom was such a very independent woman, a very hardworking woman. And she never let anything stop her, not even to the last day of her life. Nothing ever stopped her. And when you have 99.9% .9 of your body covered in cancer, and um, let's tuck that under, and you don't depend on any type of painkiller or anything to mask that pain. I say that my mom is my hero. I mean, the strength that she had, the strength that she had when we were growing up, when she was a single mom trying to make it, um, trying to give us what we needed. You know, that is an amazing strength. She was definitely my hero. that under and a little cute tag like that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make a tiny little book. So what I'm going to do is I cut out these little extra pieces of the fabric that I used to cut, uh, cover the album. I'm going to put down a little base there, just like so. And I'm going to make sure it's about the same size. Let's make sure that's about the same size. Yeah, there we go. We're just making a little book. Okay. Then I'm going to cover that because we don't want to see all that ugliness, right? So I'm going to cover that with this. And I'll cover that. And here we can add another little verse, a little quote. Let's see, this one, a strong person. Did I do this one already in the first page? I did. I don't want to put that one again. Don't want to do that again. All right. Don't give up don't you quit you keep walking you keep trying there's help and happiness ahead trust god and believe in good things to come and that is so true 
She never gave up, no matter how difficult things were. As a single mother, my mom never, ever gave up. Not to the end. Um, she fought like a true warrior would have fought. And she was my ultimate hero. Maybe I could put... She was my ultimate hero, ladies. She really was. Truly, truly was. Oops. I can peel this. Get sure I'm recording. All right, we're going to put that on this side and then we'll cover it up with some trims. with this trim so that it has a nice little backing. I'm just got little squares of three. One, two, two. Oh, that's gonna look. Hold on, hold on. Go on the outside, and we're gonna go on here, just like so. I think we need to go on the outside. Yep, we do. So we're gonna do the outside. I should go right there. And there. Sorry, I'm quiet. Okay, so now we have that little book, and now we're going to cover up this. And we're going to use probably this trim I have laying here. That was perfect and handy. Go straight across. And I'm going to go to the bottom. Go over here and do the same. Oh, 
Oh, it's me, but it's hot. put the back seal my back. that will be a problem that's not gonna be a problem and these this is just a trim that has little pretty intricate appliques on it so I'm gonna trim all some of these and just glue it onto this piece I don't know where I got this, so sorry about that. It's been too long. Too long for me to remember. Where do I have two up? The good thing about some of these trims is that you can kind of play around with what you want to do. Move those down. This one's a little bow. Looks cute. Okay. And then we can probably put Chip words, chipboard words. Mm, right in there. So we're going to use the word love. I was going to put the flower, but it was too bulky. All right, so then what we need to do is if we're going to hang that so it is kind of like an open little book, 
And in one of these, we can put a picture of her. Let's see. Yeah, we can put a picture of my mom there. And she loved the rosary. It's all about she collected rosaries. And And that was my mom. I had to be about eight years old when she took that picture. And um, she, we had just moved to Delaware. And uh, she took that picture outside the house that we lived in. And it was a little duplex. And my stepgrandmother lived next door, and my mom lived right there and they helped each other out and she helped my mom with us and my mom helped her and whatever she could help so it was good to have family close by all right go ahead and put that there do i want that no i don't want this one this is a creative with details one We're going to go with the little daisy one. And then I need to find a little clip, and then we're going to attach that to our album. I need the glue gun pusher. I'm always pushing it with my shin. Okay. So we have a cute little album for my mom. Some little elements here I like to put in there, but let's go with this. And I'm gonna get a little um a little clip and I'm gonna clip that there. I'm gonna hang it in so that it'd be like a little book with my mom. And I'm gonna go and put some of um wanna scrap leans along those little pearls little daisies just to give it some color Put these little daisies all along, and then, and then we're we'll put it aside, and then I'm gonna find a little mechanism that we can hang 
It could be just a little piece of ribbon or something. It doesn't have to be a, a safety pin or anything like that. Just something that we can let's make sure that's straight. And pop in a couple more of these on the flower. that one there but it's there already okay so we have that and I'm probably going to take a piece of ribbon and attach it there to the album because I didn't make a pocket Okay, so I decided not to put the album in here. I'm going to do the album on the next page. Here what I did is I put some of the um, Want to Scrap bulk bling around the Creating with Details trim. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this Prima flower that I have here and some little crocheted leaves and they come in a pack for Prima. And I'm going to put it here because my mom needed some flowers, ladies. She wanted flowers. So I kind of put those two together. And we're going to go there because it needed some flowers. And let's see. what I want to do here ladies. Don't mind me. This is just left over and it was the Prima Cherish Hope Always Chantal Doily. So um, that's that's an old one. We're not gonna go with that one. I want to make sure my key to my heart, because she's always gonna have the key to my heart, is available. I'm not sure about that. Let's look for something. Up with these are some leaves that I purchased, some beaded leaves that I purchased from Juana Judson, Hudson. Sorry, Hudson. And she is in the group, so you'll have to contact her. She has a fabulous Etsy store, and I believe she makes those on her own. I'll move my keys here. Put that there. And I'm going to take that Prima Flower. Where did I put it? Ah, oh, duh. See, I'm telling you, ladies, I'm losing my mind. I'm going to put that there. I would lose my mind if I didn't have it attached, my head attached to me. I'm going to throw some of this in there just to make it more shabbier. And that's just some tattered um, doilies. Um, let's see what else do I have laying here that I can tuck in there. Oh, 
we can probably nah. Not that one, not that one. And we can put some of this one here. It's a little tiny dainty crochet trim. So let's add some of that to give it a little bit of a dangle. Make a lot. We can take some of this thread. That's just crocheting thread. spread it out now she's happy because she's got some flowers okay mom gotcha you know I got your back always okay now I'm gonna add some butterflies because my mom was like me we love butterflies here. My mom thought that butterflies and birds were symbols of peace, beauty. Okay. So there we go. That is that page. And we just use some um, uh, trim from Creative Details, the chipboard embellishments from Wanta Scrap. We use the charm um, from Wanta Scrap. The bulk bling is from Wanta Scrap. We use the funky heart um, from the Wanta Scrap. And then we use some Prima. Anyway, that is that page there. Um, and we will be back for the following page. And that's the front. My mom is looking darling. She's looking beautiful, ladies. Looking beautiful. All right.